There, yeah, but this is a, a cod from Iceland. Um, it's bought in Iceland about last week. It's put on the market this morning, graded by our lads last night. Uh, so it will be sold this morning in the next 10 minutes. We employ in the region about 60 people, and that's just as this fish market here. And this, you know, this Grinsby, as a as an area, probably provides the country with about 70% of its fish. The next morning, when the when the count was in and we were going to leave, I didn't really mind. It wasn't no skin off my nose. That then got a bit uh, grating. That was spent three or so years trying to sort it out. So I think in the end, I just want it done and over with. Even though it wasn't the initial vote that I went for, it's yeah. I just I think we all got a bit weary of the politicians over the last few years, really. And uh, I think having a government with the majority to give them the clout to actually do what they want is a good thing. I think uh, all these fractions of leading with bits of people involved with them don't get us anywhere. I think, I think it needs a majority, really. So I don't think people are that keen on the current Labour leader, reading between the lines as well. Um, you know, there's a bit of, there's no real direction with what they're going to do. They say they're going to have another referendum and then decide and, and, and bits and bobs like that. So I think people in Grimsby, a lot of them voted to leave. So if it means sacrificing the principles, then they're going to vote for someone else to try and get it pushed through. And I think, to be fair, the Labour majority in Grimsby for the past 10 or 15 years has been gradually declining, even before the Brexit issue. You know, I, th I think it was getting a bit close anyway. So. Probably a bit of that as well. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's ended yet. No? No, no. That's well, what people are hoping for. Well, it won't do, will it? Because this is just a divorce settlement, isn't it? That is, it might get through in January. Then he's saying that if they don't get a trade agreement with Europe by the end of the year, then it still might be a no deal. You know, it's no good for places like us. I had a container yesterday. It was delayed by minimum of four hours at the ports because of extra checks. If that, we get a bad deal, and every single one of my containers, I don't know whether it's going to be four hour delay or five minute delay, it's a nightmare.